Hi friends, in this video we will see the steps for filtering in the frequency domain. So there are various steps. Uh, we will go uh, each step one by one to uh, filter our image. So the first uh, step is, so we will take uh, our image uh, that is uh, f of x comma y that is of dimension m into n. Okay, this is the first image. This is our image uh, f of x, y, where x, y are the coordinates and f uh, represents the intensities of uh, these coordinates or pixels. Okay, and the second step is we will uh, we will pad this uh, image to form the image of dimension p into q. Okay, so here is the padded image f of p of x q okay here uh, this dimension is p into q okay where p equal to 2m and q equal to 2n so suppose uh, if xy the image is this m into n this is f of xy then the then this is this image is this uh, p into q this is 2n and this is 2m this is uh, this image is f of p x y and in this image we will uh, this is the original image uh, f of x y and we will pad all the zero to make it dimension of p into q okay so uh, in the image we will pad zeros in all the sides to make it dimension p into q okay so this is the second step now to centralize this uh, image we will uh, multiply it with minus 1 to the power x plus y so the next step is we will multiply uh, multiply this with minus 1 to the power x plus y okay now next step is suppose uh, we have a filter in frequency domain that is h of u v okay this is the filter okay and we uh, fourier transform the image to form the fourier transformation of this image that is uh, capital f of x y okay this is the fourier transform of this image okay so in the fourth step we will find g of u v by multiplying h of u v to capital F this is for your transform of image X of uh, F of X5 okay so this is the fourth step okay and uh, and in in this step we will perform the filtering uh, but uh, after uh, after performing filtering uh, we will uh, need the image in this form uh, that is inverse of the discrete uh, uh, Fourier transform okay so we will find the inverse of this uh, equation okay uh, inverse uh, for your transform of this so suppose this is the uh, processed image gx of xy or g of xy suppose g of xy it will be equal to inverse of g of uv and then we will be, uh, we will again centralize this image by multiplying with minus 1 to the power x plus y okay so after going through these steps from 1 to 5 we will have the processed image okay suppose we will have the we have image f of x y and we apply some filter to refine this image or to smooth or sharpen this image and uh, and after refining or uh, sharpening or smoothing of image we will have the image that is g of x y so we will uh, so 
to convert this image from this image we will have to go through all these uh, steps okay so here uh, in in frequency uh, domain always we have to multiply we have to multiply the filter with the fourier uh, we have to multiply the filter with the fourier transform of the image and then we will uh, inverse for your transform to get back the image okay but uh, in the spatial domain we will see later in uh, in other video uh, that uh, in in spatial domain we will have a single operation that is called as convolution okay to convolution to uh, filtering in the spatial domain okay uh, this uh, in spatial domain we will require only one operation uh, but in frequency domain we will require uh, all these operations uh, that is first one is uh, uh, converting uh, converting this image into Fourier transform and then multiplication of uh, this filter into Fourier transform and then again inverse of the uh, Fourier transform okay so uh, but uh, but the speed uh, speed of this is much lesser than the convolution okay so uh, uh, so we frequently use the filtering in the frequency domain because it is very fast uh, so we will use it uh, uh, instead of a, a spatial domain filtering okay so thank you friends